Benjamin. So today we are hitting shoulders, back, biceps, all about muscle hypertrophy, which is growth. We're gonna hit at least five sets. I should say even at least, cause that's a lot. But we're gonna do it anyway. Five sets, 20 reps. And make sure you stay tuned for the end of the video for our post-workout banter, where we're gonna talk about keto diet, we'll talk about carnivore diet, we'll talk about crazy diet fads and all that good stuff. All right? Yo, it's time to get to work. Let's get it. All right, so we're doing the back row machine. You really wanna pay attention to the motion here because you're squeezing with your lats slightly, but it's more your inner back. That's where the back row comes from. That's where the strength comes from. So we're not rushing through this. We're actually squeezing, so we're leading with the back. All the engagement is with the back first. We wanna kind of take our biceps out of it and keep doing the back exercise. So, 20 reps is absolutely excruciating. That's why we're doing it. Because your body's gonna tell you, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. But you just gotta make yourself do it. This is what it takes, let's get it. All right, so the way we're gonna do this one here is we're gonna do a drop set. We want 20 reps, but we're gonna also drop the set because the weight is gonna get heavy. I want you to squeeze and hold it for just the beat. Squeeze, hold. Release, squeeze, hold, release. 20 reps, drop the weight, let's get it. Uh. Uh. Now we're gonna drop it. Make it fast. Like, like the change of tires in the Indy 500. <laughs> There it is. 20 reps. So now we're gonna do like this simulation of the lap pull down machine. So some people at first glance will think, oh, isn't that the same exercise? But it's not. Because this right here is gonna be more isolation on your lats. So we'll start here with grabbing the handles. Keep your chest up, pull with the lats. Squeeze. Squeeze. I don't wanna see all this craziness. No. Slow and control. Squeeze. 20 reps of that. It's gonna get insane. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna do a reverse supinated. If you know what supinated means, keep watching. I'll explain at some point. But like a reverse dumbbell supinated press. We're doing 20 reps. But now to that weight, you can forget about that. So we take a quick break, five seconds, and we back at it. One more quick break, five seconds, five more reps. Let's go. So you're really engaging the front part of this deltoid here. It's no joke, but this is how you get that crazy pump in the shoulders. This is how you get those nice popping out 
deltoids, and this is how you get out of breath. I'm just stretching out these shoulders here, but listen, I'm gonna stress this point that a lot of times we're so busy in life and we have priorities, right? We have a list of priorities and the gym starts at the beginning, at the top of the list, at the beginning of the year, and it slowly slides down. Let's keep the gym at the top of our priority list. And the way that you really do that is you make it a habit and you get consistent and you be consistent about your routine, all right? I'm gonna keep talking about this. It's gonna be a theme in these videos because when it comes to our health and fitness, I mean, this is a lifestyle. It's not just a fad, it's not just a New Year's resolution, it's a lifestyle. Let's get it. None of this is a joke, but if it was a, if it was easy, we'd all look incredible, wouldn't we? That's painful. That is painful. Twenty reps of that, ridiculous. <laughs> so when you're doing this exercise. When you're done with it, I mean your deltoid should be on fire. It's such a small muscle, so you really need to work to engage it. So as we come up, we don't wanna bring our shoulders forward and we don't wanna bring them all the way back. We're kind of raising them up in the middle. And you're gonna notice which one of your deltoids, which one of your shoulders is a little weaker. So that weaker one, you actually wanna focus more on that one and get it up at the same time. Ooh, ah. Halfway there. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I know it's on you. You want to quit, but you can't quit. Ah. Hold. Ah. No quitting here. We don't do that here. So what we want to do here is this is the basic bicep curl. However, we're squeezing at the top. Each rep, squeeze. And we're doing 20 reps. Now you notice I'm not moving my body like this. All bicep isolation. Twenty reps. That is going to hurt. So check it out. Bicep isolation with the straight bar. I want you to, to remain stabilized, keep your core tight. And I don't want to see this. You know, I see, a lot, I see a lot of this in the gym and I get it. You know, you're just trying to get the weight up. But today, we're focusing on muscle protein synthesis, muscle stimulation, and isolation of the bicep. And of course, protein synthesis is only best enhanced with Korean Regiment Elite Protein. There it is.
tell you something, I could barely speak after each set. And that's exactly where I want you to be. Alright, so this is the post-workout banter. Today we did shoulders, back, biceps. So I want to answer a few questions that I received. Actually, it's one question, but a few questions within one. So I'll get DMs and questions about the keto diet or the carnivore diet. Which is better? Do I think either one of them work? All right, so here's the deal. Like, this is just my opinion, but it's an opinion based in somewhat of a, I want to say fact, I want to say experience, I want to say all that because I've been doing this for well over 22 years now. When it comes to the keto diet, do I think that it works? Absolutely. You reduce those amount of carbs. Yeah, it does work for some people, but in terms of it being sustainable, I don't believe that it's the most sustainable diet, meaning I don't feel that you can do it for years and years and years and feel great. I think some people can. When I say some people, the minority. I think the majority you do it for a set period of time. Maybe you're training for a fitness competition. That makes total sense to me. I say do it for that. If you're looking to lose weight, you want to fit into your wedding dress, whatever it is, that makes sense to me. Do it for that. Um, however, a sustainable diet, I would think would be more of, more of like a well-balanced diet. Now let's talk about carnivore diet. Just eating meat. Yeah, so I'm probably one of the biggest meat eaters. I should say I used to be one of the biggest meat eaters you ever knew. And I could tell you this, when I didn't eat vegetables, my blood results weren't that great. When I switched my diet to eating only vegetables, my, diet, my blood results are through the roof, fantastic, super optimal. So, what I, so my opinion of the carnivore diet, no. Um, sure, there's probably 5% of the population who feels great on the carnivore diet, but I've actually seen the blood results of people who have been on the carnivore diet not great, not good at all. So for whatever reason, I'll watch certain YouTube videos and people will, people who are on the carnivore diet, they just totally trash vegan diets and plant-based diets. Yeah, but you know what? I, I think they have something against <laughs> just being healthy, I guess, right? It really doesn't make any sense. So if you wanna try the carnivore diet, I'm gonna suggest that you not do that. And if you're going to do it, then let me know. Like, like leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried it, how it's worked out for you. The majority of people who I've spoken with, they've tried it for a short period of time. At first they felt good, then it really didn't start working out for them because they went to the doctor, they realized high cholesterol, uh, their blood pressure was through the roof, and then they, did, they started not to feel this great. So my suggestion would be more of a plant-based diet. If you can't be 100% plant-based, I get it, no problem at all. But just start adding more vegetables into your diet. Those people who tell you not to eat vegetables, mm, I'm just gonna say it. I was trying to hold in my tongue a little bit, but they're just idiots. I'm just gonna say it. And if you know anybody who tells you not to eat vegetables, you tell them that I said they're an idiot as well. Don't tell people not to eat vegetables. That's just absolutely stupid. You know why? Because vegetables have antioxidants, they have vitamins that meat doesn't have, and they also have uh, no trans fat, and no cholesterol, and all that other bad stuff, and they're not a precursor to cancer all of that stuff so you know I, I was holding my tongue a little bit but i'm just gonna say because you know what these people like they want to really, really want to bash healthy vegetable based diets and they're just idiots so i'm just gonna say just leave it like that like this video make sure you leave me a comment please do subscribe to the channel and uh we'll see you next time